Hello and welcome! In this tutorial, I will show you how to create and configure a virtual device. In addition, you will learn how to define a global variable in a measurement device. A virtual device is used to perform calculations with measured values from real devices or values from other virtual devices. The calculations of a virtual device are performed while the GridVis is running. A virtual device does not store any additional values in the database and does not use any items from your license. Create a new device. Select a virtual device. A virtual device can only be created without a connection. Expand the device tree and open the overview page of the created virtual device. Open the configuration. Name the virtual device. Click Transmit to change the name of the virtual device. In this tutorial, the virtual device is used to add up the active powers of three measurement devices. To do this, open the programming interface. Virtual devices use the JSIC graphical programming language. The right side shows a palette of the individual JSIC components. Start with the configuration of the value sources. Value sources are numerical constants or values from other devices. Define the output variable. Output variables of a virtual device are either user-defined or use a system variable. Make sure that the value type of the output variable corresponds to the value type of the inputs. The four basic arithmetic operations are available to link the inputs with the output. Click Transmit for the changes to take effect in the device. The virtual device now calculates the sum of the active powers and can be used like a real measurement device. The JSIC programming language can also be used to define global variables in a measurement device. Currently, the UMG 508, UMG 509, UMG 604 UMG 605, UMG 511 and UMG 512 measurement devices support JSIC programs. In this tutorial, the active powers of the first two phases are added in a UMG 512 and made available as a global variable. The overview page shows you the program locations of the measurement device. Open the programming interface by clicking on a program location. Switch to the graphical programming interface. Place the components in an infinite loop so that the calculation is made continuously.
The program can be named once the first JSIC component has been positioned. Configure the input variables. The result is stored in a user variable. The name of a global variable must start with underscore GBL. Only the name after underscore GBL is displayed in the value tree. Add an addition operation. A recording component is required so that the result will also be available in the historical values. Define here which value is to be recorded at which time interval. You can save the program as a JSIC template. Transmit the program to a program memory location in your measurement device. The global variable can now be used like a measured value of the device. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. For more information, please visit wiki.janitza.de.